Now we're ready to start learning some organic nomenclature. How we're going to name our organic compounds. The IUPAC stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Basically there's a group of people that get together internationally that decide the naming rules for, or, for organic chemistry. We actually use the IUPAC naming rules for inorganic chemistry already. But anyway, so these are kind of the official rules. This will be your foundation for all the organic nomenclature that you do, both in lecture and in, in lab. We're going to start with the alkane names. So an alkane with one carbon is called methane. Spelling is important. The parts of the words have meaning, so we're going to be real picky on spelling. An alkane with two carbons is called ethane. Three carbons is propane. Four carbons, butane. Five is pentane. Six is hexane. Notice some of these words start to make sense with the numbers, like six for hex. Seven, though, is a little funny. It's heptane. Eight is octane. Nine is nonane. And ten is decane. So you need to have those first 10 memorized. Um, like I said, they're going to be the foundation for all of your organic nomenclature. This sentence down here is one that a student gave me to help remember the order of these, especially those first four that don't methane, ethane, propane, butane. They don't make sense with the numbers so much. But anyway, so use that to make sure you know them. Um, you'll need them for the uh, quizzes and the lab final exam. On the quizzes, you may have to type these on the online quizzes, and I know you can look them up, but make sure that you have the spelling exactly correct. Also, you do not capitalize these names. We kind of have a bad habit of capitalizing the names of elements and the names of compounds and stuff like that, but those things really are not um, capitalized unless they're in a table or a title, part of a title or something like that. So do not capitalize these and make sure you can spell them. Notice one more thing before we go on. These are alkanes. They have all single bonds, and that's why they all end in ane. Okay, so we're going to go into this naming system. Let's look at these two molecules real quickly and see why we have this whole system just for organic compounds. I'm just adding where the hydrogens would be. This is C4H10. And on this one, finding where the hydrogens would be, so that every carbon has four bonds. How many hydrogens on this middle carbon? It needs just one, doesn't it? So this is C4H10. Okay, so these have the same molecular formula these are the molecular formulas, but they're not the same compound. They're connected in a different way. So we really need a different name for these. These compounds um, actually have different physical properties. They have different chemical properties. If I started reacting these with, with uh, different reagents, I would get different products. Um, so I need a different name for these. Our old naming system, we would have said tetracarbon dehydride for both of these, but that's ambiguous for organic chemistry. Do you remember the word for um, when you have two compounds, they have all the same atoms, but they're connected in a different way. They are different isomers. And remember that isomers are different compounds.
Okay, well, let's start naming a little bit. Um, what about this one? What would we name this? This has five carbons. If you look at your table, and I would have your table um, kind of handy. You're going to flip back to this quite a bit. This table will give you the name of any, any alkane that is just one straight chain with no branches. So that was five carbons. So this is pentane. This one. If we want to go back to this one up here, what is it? Look on your table. It's butane for four carbons. But this one we did. We need a different name because they're not both butane. That we need a different name for this one. So we use these names if they're just straight. But when they have what we call this is what we call a branch, we're going to have to do something else. What about this compound here? What would it be called? It's still pentane. That does not have a branch. This is just bent. It's bent a couple times. It's still the same thing. It's still five in a row. It may not be a straight row. We have a word for this. These are the same compound, but they're shaped differently, so we call them conformers. Conformers, different conformers of the same compound. Here's a definition. Same compound, just bent, twist, flipped, drawn differently. One thing we want to do is get good at um, identifying those. 